Under Ontario law, while there are lots of words that are used to describe um, you losing your job, there's only really two meaningful differences under law. You can be terminated for cause or without cause. So that then determines what you're eligible for. If an employee is terminated for cause, and truthfully there is cause, then the employee isn't entitled to anything in terms of a severance package. If they're terminated without cause, then they are entitled to a severance package and you're just having a negotiation then in terms of how much of a severance package you're, enti you're entitled to. For non-unionized employees in Ontario, you aren't entitled to your job back generally, you're just entitled to a number of months of assistance in terms of compensation. It doesn't matter what your employer calls it, the question is, are they going to be providing you compensation? And then the question is, how much compensation is appropriate? Or are they taking the stance that you were terminated for cause and therefore that you're not entitled to any compensation? With cause means that they're terminating someone for effectively misconduct and your employer, the employer is choosing to let them go. It's important to note, however, that can be appealed or decided by a court and generally courts have a much higher standard for not giving someone compensation than employers do. Without cause means an employer in Ontario is allowed to let an employee go for any reason they want generally, even if it's frivolous, so long as it doesn't violate human rights codes and the like, and provide them with a reasonable amount of notice to, to compensate them for being laid off. Generally, an employee who's looking at the severance package, if it says that they're not getting anything, then generally they've been terminated for cause. If, they're, if it, their severance package involves so many weeks or months of notice, then it's a without cause termination, and it's merely now a negotiation in terms of how much money your employer owes you.